Senator Flanagan on the bill. When Senator Kruger originally got up, he was talking about the process that we're engaging in, and he referenced uh, bipartisanship. And he talked about the outreach that came from the majority to minority. And I made these uh, similar comments when we talked about the deficit reduction plan. I can guarantee you when I go home and I talk to the people that I represent, I will be very clear. There was, at best, a hint and a scintilla, no more, in terms of bipartisanship. Because I know, I know what people are going to say. I'm the ranking Republican on the Education Committee. I got a letter from Senator Oppenheimer in the latter part of March, just like Senator DeFrancisco did from you, as did all the other chairs to their respective rankers, and we were asked for our input and our ideas on the budget. And frankly, I was offended. I don't work for Senator Oppenheimer. My colleagues don't work for the chairs of their respective committees. I work for my constituents and the residents of the state of New York. I wrote back politely and said that the proper discourse and the proper venue for that is public dialogue and transparency, and things that we called the conference committees that everybody supported unanimously in the Budget Reform Act of 2007. So you can dance around in a hundred different ways, but the bottom line is this was the most secretive process, certainly in the 23 years I've been in Albany, and you know what? You're in charge. If that's how you decide to do it, I don't have to agree with it, but that's the reality. So I don't think anyone should walk out of here making any assumptions about whether this was a bipartisan process and whether there was any real outreach. I am certainly not going to represent that to my constituents. And when I am at public forums with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, in both houses, I will be absolutely crystal clear that there was no bipartisanship in this budget process. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Flanagan.